Well, welcome back to Trends and Friends, y'all. I'm here with another business within Culinary Co-op. I'm here with Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa, for allowing me to be here. Thank you. Glad you're here. Of course. Tell us a little bit about your business. Okay, so the name of my business is Wine Craft Charcuterie. Wine Craft Charcuterie. There yeah. we go. It was and a tongue twister for me, y'all. <laughs> so what I do is I do charcuterie boards and boxes. I do them from everything from a lunch size box all the way up to trays to party boxes to spreads for events, for weddings, receptions, birthday parties, you name it. I've you done got it. I got it. <laughs> um, girls not out, girls not in. When you have to decide to have a pajama party or something, you know, lots of fun things. I also um, try to cater to children. Sometimes mom and dad don't always, you know, you can't always find the children's lunch boxes, so I can make those for the kids as well. And then I also do a lot of custom things. I do uh, handcrafted gourmet cheese balls, um, and then I do other fun things, uh, gourmet dipped pretzels, um, homemade Chex Mix, and just various other things. The longer I'm here, the more exposure I get, um, and the more we have, you know, people come in, and just, you know, when you put stuff out there, they see it, and then they're like, oh, I have to try it. <laughs> so, you know, it kind of entices them to buy. So what made you start, you know, these different things? We have the cheese ball to the customized pretzels to the Chex Mix to the charcuterie boards, things like that. What made you start everything? Okay, so when COVID happened, a lot of you know different things and so I just needed additional income so I started the charcuterie business but as it's grown and as things have happened just little things it's like oh maybe if I add this or maybe do this make myself stand out set myself apart from all the other people that are doing charcuterie so that's why I try to offer something a little bit different that they might not get with another charcuterie company here in town um, you know and just make it personal and tell me a little bit about, about your prices. I mean, they range differently, right? They do. They do. So my lunch boxes start at 12, um, and they, you know, I can, they can go up to 15, depending on what I need to do, because I can customize them and make them gluten-free um, and, you know, tweak it this way or that <laughs> way. Um, and then I have a date box that is 40 which is for two and then from the date box it goes to a small a large a small medium large and then I have the party boxes that I offer for offices um, when everybody needs to stay in the office during the day <laughs> I can I can do those as well and then um, when it comes to special events it's based per, per the number of people and it's a cost per person okay. and then I tweak it that way and where can people learn more about your business specifically, not just besides Culinary Co-op? Okay, so I have a personal Facebook page, which is Lisa Clark, and then I also have a business Facebook page, which is under Wine Carafe Charcuterie. Um, we're working on building my website, so that's where I'm at right now. Still in the works, but that's good for you, you know, up, up and coming. There we go. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much, and we really do appreciate it. Thank well, you. thank you. Of course, and don't go anywhere just yet. We'll be back with more Trends and Friends.